Alright, this is currently running processes. It's a it's a game by Matthew Cook made for the Cyberpunk game jam, um, whose concept I already know and I've just played the tutorial, but I haven't played the proper game yet. Uh, and I'll explain how it works as it goes. You come flying out of a plate glass window at the start, so <laughs> he's got me on his side right away. But the main thing you do in the game is like uh, you switch to this hacking mode where you have an aura around you, and if you see that name plate point down there, if I type that in, it blows it up. And also in hacking you'll notice the um, <laughs> the movement speed goes incredibly slowly and you can come out of that any time. These I guess are elevators. Ah, more like teleporters. Um, is that the same name as the window? Anyway, that's going to be and once I hack it I get some data and as you see in the top right um, there is a tally for how much data you've stolen and you're, brilliantly your objective is to steal uh, 1.44 megabytes, the amount you can fit on a three and a quarter inch floppy disk. Three and a half inch. Uh, oh no! Oh fuck! Uh, is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? No, no! Uh, okay. Oh, it's actually City Ice. Okay. I, Knowing Matthew, I would expect all of these names are procedurally generated too. <laughs> Particularly since there has to be a lot of them. Okay, that didn't work well. Uh, if you stick around in one building too long, um, you... Uh, basically some uh, troops show up and you have to deal with them. It's not actually fatal, but uh, puts some time pressure on you. I never know whether to come out of slow-mo to wait for this to happen, the data download, because it seems to go at the same rate either way, but it feels weird to wait in slow-mo when, when you are actually waiting for something. And then... No, let's not do that one. Let's do plate chip. Why didn't that work? Plate chip, damn it! Oh, I've run out of charges! Oh, fuck. Well, that's a bad time for that to happen. Plate gate, the famous scandal. When do I get new charges? <laughs> I gotta be able to hack stuff, man. I should have thought this through before I jumped. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so it's like you have to wait for your stuff to recharge, but also there's time pressure. So I guess while you're in slow mo, it's gonna recharge slowly. Okay, so it's when you've got pink ones, that you're ready. I'd like to go a bit further up. Wow, you go really fast through these things. <laughs> Data ice. Yeah, I think I'll stay in slow mo when I'm doing that, because it just gives me time to think. Blue sec. I've got two charges, so I should be okay all the way through to God Node here. I love <laughs> the way it makes you talk. Oh wait, no, that's not okay at all. What the fuck? Uh, and I don't have any charges left. Oh god, that went wrong fast. I seem to lose my sideways velocity, but I think maybe I just jumped wrong. Oh, am I standing on that window? That's okay then. Cool. <laughs> I don't totally understand the visual of the charging because it's like, um, let's hack data net and then uh, hopefully jump back in there. Can I do that? Oh god, it's hard to see what's happening. Okay. Oh god. Um, oh well, I can't read his name because there's many of them in the same spot. Uh, actually, the tutorial did say to run in these situations. Like, oh my god! Shit! You're going to take one hit and they fire fast. Okay, I am now dead. I got 398 kilobytes. That's not actually that close. Okay, sweet. Let's go down. So, it's in your interest not to hack things if you don't need to. Um, did that stop because I went out of slow mo? No, probably not. Electro ice. The notion of a world where people name their windows is brilliant. <laughs> I want to live in that world. I wonder if I can hack it from there. God point. Yeah, that seemed to work. Uh, data node. That's a good cyberpunk name. And then once I've got... Ah, it's weird. It doesn't use the... The charge meter is like, puts them in... Not a random order, but I guess in like... Order of using them. City shard. That sounds very frozen synapse. Gold ice. I love hacking things through floors. This is great. And now I should probably wait for them to recharge a bit. I'll get some more height at least. I haven't been going across rooftops very much. Let's just check there's nothing in this building. No, there's nothing in this building. The worst office block ever. I assume my time limit is like per building, so if, if I, as long as I move to the next building, I'm, it resets, I hope. I don't know if it... I suppose it could be measuring my overall speed. Okay, 300k, I'm already doing better than last time. Uh, actually, maybe about the same. But let's wait for these to recharge and electro shard. 
I think he's done a good job of actually motivating you to do this stuff in mid-air. Because even though it's got limited range, I think that's tough to actually like force you to do that. I guess you're not strictly forced, but it's it's efficient. Oh look at this, I'm gonna make a hack two in one thing. Plate. No, I spelled it wrong. Plate stream. And bite point. I like that there are a lot of point suffixes in this game. <laughs> That's something I look for in games. Is it quicker to go take the stairs or recharge? I think take the stairs. Yes, oh my god. Uh, gold glass. Yeah, I killed him with hacking. I killed you with the power of my mind slash deck. Oh no! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Those bullets go fast when you're not in slow-mo. Okay, well you get the idea, and you can, that's up on uh, Matt's site, I will link it in the description.